It's been a few weeks, and Ozzy Jurek joins us now for a look at some real estate news. Hello, Ozzy. Nice to be back. Nice to have you back. Now we're talking today. We're just you're giving us a kind of a snapshot of real estate in BC, how it's looking this summer and where it's headed. Yeah, you know, we we look still at the Lower Mainland, and the numbers are astounding. Mortgage business is soaring. Things are still selling. On our average price for a new condo now, according to Price Waterhouse Cooper, is four hundred and twenty thousand for high rise. That's average, and it's seven hundred dollars a foot on average on the west side. And of course, we have some buildings as much as a thousand. And so, but nobody talks about the interior. And you know what? The interior is boiling hot too. Well, let's take a look. First of all, you have picked four places. The first place, Williams Lake. Yeah, Williams Lake just four years ago had 33% vacancy rate, but look at these sales. The first six months of last year, just under 200 sales, now just under 300 sales. And the average selling price is 215000 That's a single family home. In Vancouver, that single family home average would be 800000 So maybe some people move there. But the reason is jobs. We have Gibraltar Mines has opened up three or four years ago. Lots of job creation, zero vacancy rates, and it's really moving. All right, that's why this is TV, because that house is on fire. <laughs> <laughs> Prince Rupert, also on fire, apparently. Yeah, I mean, you know, you and I talked four years ago about Prince George, and everybody said, well, why would you recommend Prince George? Well, we felt it was the same reason. Values go where people and jobs go, and we felt that with the centralization of the government services, Prince George would do well. Well, Prince Rupert has a new container port. The first phase mm -hmm. is coming up, and our sales are higher. The sales prices are going up, and it's seen the strongest market that it's had for a long time. Prince Rupert was really lagging. And, and we'll probably continue that way for some Absolutely, time. Absolutely, because, because real jobs are being created yeah. in the second phase in particular by 2009. If you go to Smithers, you know, 163 sales last year, this year 212. Half of the single family homes there sell for less than $169,000. Mm -hmm. And you have a lot of mining exploration, you have a nice ski hill. It's a beautiful little town. And then finally, Victoria, looking at a bigger city. Well, of course, that's a big town, but yeah. it's a record, record sales month. And took wow. both the number, of, the number of sales at 949, and then 23 sales over $1 million. You know, there used to be several years in a row where we wouldn't have 20 sales over a million in Victoria. And the average price now at 576000 on average is almost 150000 higher than Calgary, 200000 higher than Edmonton and it's an all-time record also. That's amazing. Now, Ozzy, this despite the fact that mortgage rates are going up and yes. probably will continue to go up. Well, part of it, of course, a lot of buyers had locked in their rates and mm -hmm. they've taken advantage of that throughout June and July, and when that comes to an end, it might slow, but also we have real reasons. I mean, we are still shopping like crazy. We had a record retail sales in May, 7% higher. We have, uh, you know, a rising dollar. We have a lot of confidence. So in, I think in the West, it's going to continue. I think in the manufacturing sector, like Ontario, the real estate markets will turn down and they're already turning down in places like Windsor and everywhere else fairly sharply. Okay. Ozzy, thank you so much for this. Thanks for having me. We'll talk to you again in a couple of weeks. However, if you have any more questions for Ozzy or you would like to purchase a copy of his newsletter, www.jerk.com or you can call him at 604-683-1111.